Hi, this is Patrick from IT Babble, and today this is part two of how to make a ball bounce in Adobe Flash. And we're going to be adding the ground, which is super simple, and then we're going to be adding the shadow, which is a little bit more complicated, but still not too bad. Okay, so we've got our ball bouncing here, and it looks good. To make the ground, I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle. <laughs> But you know what? I don't want to put it on the same layer as the ball. That could cause problems later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer right here. There it is, layer two. I'm going to rename it to ground. What else? And before you draw anything, make sure you have frame one selected. So move that back to frame one and then go ahead and draw and boom. There we go. We have the ground. It's not the color we want, but hey, that's easy enough to change. To change the color, I'm going to I'm going to use white. I'm going to use my paint bucket tool and just dump it in. And I've got my ground. So let's check it out. Oh, that's a problem. I want the ball to bounce on the ground, not behind it. Uh, but it's a real easy fix. I'm just going to come down here to my layers and drag the ball layer on top of the ground layer. And now when I bounce it, it bounces on the ground. Huh? How simple is that? Okay, now we are going to be, now that we've got the, the ground all, all sorted out, you saw how easy that was, now we're going to move on to the shadow, which is a little bit more complicated, a few more steps, so pay attention. I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to rename it shadow, just like I did for the ground, and just like I did for the ground, I'm also going to come back to frame number one, that's important is why I highlighted it there. So make sure you're going to frame number one and make sure you're on the shadow layer. It'll be highlighted blue when you're on that layer. Yeah, and I'm just checking out to see, oh, yeah, see, this is a problem. I don't want to accidentally select the ground. So what we can do is on the ground layer, put a little lock on it, and now I can't select it. It's not going to get in the way. It's no problem. So now that that's done, let's go back to our shadow layer. And I need to know where to put the shadow, right? Like, I need to have an idea of where to put the shadow. Um, and obviously, our shadow is just going to be an oval with the oval tool. But, but before I draw, I just I need to know where, where am I going to put it, right? So I'm going to scrub ahead, just grabbing the timeline and moving it back and forth. That's called scrubbing. And there we go. And I'm going to use some guidelines here to figure out, okay, just as a, that's where the, the shadow should be, right? And I just went up to the ruler up there and just dragged it down. That's all I did. Now, please draw your shadow on frame number one, and please make sure you're on the shadow layer. Because <laughs> if not, you're going to have all sorts of problems. And, okay, I think that looks pretty good. Hmm, wait a minute here. Yeah, I'm the inside of the shadow is white. That's a problem. So I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and I'm going to. Uh oh, wait a minute. Hold on here. It should be black in the middle, not white in the middle. But let's go ahead and select this one anyway. And we can change it. I'll show you how to change it here in a second. I'm going to come all the way up here to my color palette, I'm going to click on that, and at the bottom, you can see these sliders for the gradient, and we can just change them. And now instead of having white in the middle, you know, changing to black, it's going to be black in the middle, changing to white, which is much more of what a shadow would look like. I'm going to dump it in there, and hey, that looks pretty good. That looks fine. But you know what? Shadows don't have edges to them. They don't have a, a border like that. So let's remove the border or the stroke as it's called. And I'm a, I've got my selection tool. I'm just going to click it once and then I'm going to hit delete. There we go. And now we're almost ready to, we need to make this a symbol. Right click, convert to symbol. And just like we did with the ball, give it a name, make sure it's a movie clip. And, uh, yeah, not a graphic, not a button. Just make sure it's a movie clip and click OK. 
And you know it's a symbol. It's got that blue box around it. So fantastic. So it's, I'm going to zoom back out here so we can see the whole thing. And now comes uh, the easy part. Just, again, make sure you have frame one selected. Not everything, just frame one. And we're going to start hitting F6, just like we did with the ball. And I'm going to use my free transform tool. You can see it on the right-hand side there that I got it selected. And as the ball gets closer to the ground, the shadow will get smaller. Oh, wait a minute. I have to move my shadow. So make sure that's moved before you, <laughs> because that, that'll make a big difference as well. So now I can go ahead and start hitting my F6. There we go. This is looking pretty good. And now it's on the ground, so I'm just going to shrink it to it's nothing. There we go. I've sped up the film here a little bit, so that's why things look maybe a little different than what they normally have. But, ooh, I'm going to use a, I forgot to put the guide. I want to put this guide here that, uh, that'll that remind me where to stop the shadow. Like, we don't want the shadow to get larger. Shadows don't grow, <laughs> you know. So we're going to just put it there so we know where to stop. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my... There we are, most rest of my frames there. And um, let's give it a try. Oh, that's, that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to hit uh, Command Enter on the Mac or Control Enter, and that's going to us, give us a little movie. So thanks for watching and visit us at IT Babble.